Hello friends, hope you all are fine and healthy. In this video lecture, we have we will discuss about Sommerfeld free electron theory or Sommerfeld free electron model. Earlier we have discussed about in details about the Drude model. In this video, we shall discuss the Sommerfeld assumption uh, has uh, that has taken by Sommerfeld for free electron theory, and we also discuss the concepts of dispersion relation in metal and the concept of Fermi energy and density of states in detail. So I request you to watch this full video up to the end. So what were the Sommerfeld assumption for his free electron theory? That is earlier the Drude model we have discussed that was considered the nature of valence electrons obeying the Maxwell Boltzmann statistics. Now Sommerfeld treated the problem quantum mechanically using the Fermi Dirac statistics. Now suppose electrons inside the metal that can be treated as free electrons. Let us ignore the interaction between electron and ion. So electron will become free. So the model will be free electron model. Now how do you introduce the concept of quantum mechanics here? We have to introduce the quantum mechanical potential. Suppose we take the potential of the form of 3D box potential and let us take the cubic box of size L into L into L and we have to apply a periodic boundary condition. Let us take the potential V equals to zero within this box and it will be infinite outside the box. So as we apply the potential or periodic potential to the wave function, uh, we have to consider the wave function boundary condition that is psi at x plus L comma Y comma Z should be equal to psi at x comma Y comma Z psi at x comma y plus l comma z should be equal to psi at x comma y comma z and psi at x comma y comma z plus l should be equal to psi at x comma y comma z. We all know the solution to the Schrodinger equation for a free particle they obey uh, psi is proportional to exponential iota k dot r or we can write it psi root over twice by l sine uh, in nx pi x l okay n pi x by l sine nx pi y by l so like this way so exponentially uh, these are the plane waves so we can write psi as exponential iota k dot r now this k is of the form of 2n pi by l when you put this boundary condition to psi so k is the electron wave vector and this periodic boundary condition on psi that will give the k to discrete values like 2 pi by l nx comma ny comma nz and the plane waves have energy eigen energies that will be given by this dispersion relation that is epsilon k is h cross square k square by twice m so suppose i we i plot this ek diagram in one dimension we will get a parabola in shape. So each black dot is a possible electronic state because K is discrete, K cannot be continuous. So these black dots represent a possible electron state. Now let us put the Fermi energy that is this EF is equals to H cross square KF square by twice ME in case of suppose we take the temperature in a free electron model and say is a consider the copper the density of copper is 9 gram per centimeter cube atomic weight 63.6 gram per mole so the number density of atom is just wait yes so the number density of the atom n is 0.14 mole per centimeter cube now treat this copper as monovalent so this is also the number density of the valence electrons so the Fermi energy will be of the order of 7 electron volt. Now this is much less than the electron rest mass energy because electron rest mass energy that is Me C square equals to 511 kilo electron volt. So we have assumed this non-relativistic uh, non-relativistic energy of the Fermi energy expression. So that is justified. And also the Fermi energy is also much higher than KBT because KBT at the normal temperature is 25 degree centigrade is 25 MeV. 
so at the room temperature so the corresponding fermi temperature will be 82000 kelvin so compared to the room temperature suppose i take the room temperature as 298 kelvin that is 25 degree centigrade we see this that is tf by t not of the order of 270 so the fermi temperature is much higher than the room temperature so copper at room temperature is highly degenerate and quantum effects dominate okay so friends here a, a small <coughs> announcement from our channel that we guide the phd integrated phd physics candidates by our test series scheme by our interview scheme also so you can join in our test series or interviews with a minimum cost so you can contact this number or you can mail us to da8s8034 at the rate gmail.com or we have also telegram channel physics by iitians our facebook page is physics by iitians or you can ask your doubts or if you are interested to join our program like test series program interview guidance program you can contact to us directly in our youtube channel also so special offer for the students who have already registered to our test series for the interview so don't be afraid of interviews we will guide you and you will surely qualify e phd physics integrated phd physics interviews in renowned institutes in research institutes iits isars etc so come back to the discussion that we have already discussed that summerfeld has uh, uh, applied or summerfeld applied his concept of quantum mechanical concept of this potential uh, with a statistic that is the fermionic statistic not the bosonic statistics not the maxwell boltzmann statistic because electron is a fermion so we have to apply the fermi dirac statistics so we have to consider the occupation of electron states by the fermi dirac distribution which can be written as 1 by exponential beta epsilon minus mu plus 1 where beta equals to 1 by kbt so epsilon is the energy mu is the chemical potential of an electron so the fermi dirac distribution defines the number of electrons in the system that will be 2 into l by 2 pi whole cube integration over nf beta into epsilon minus mu into dk so here why two factor is considered here because just for the spin degeneracy that electron spin can be up or down we have to consider this two factor so suppose you have a question that okay ma'am what happens at t equals to 0 to the uh, to the uh, solid what happens with these uh, energy states of the electron how the electrons will be distributed what will happen to the metal or all over you all know that at t equals to 0 the fermi dirac distribution becomes a step function because the states below the chemical potential those will be filled and the states above the chemical potential those will be empty so this is clearly a step function but for a finite temperature this will spread so this is become a more smeared out function for a finite temperature so what happened to the energy levels at absolute zero temperature the electrons fill up available states from minimum energy upwards satisfying the pauli exclusion principle this each distinct energy level specified by a combination of the quantum numbers nx ny and nz that is occupied by two electrons of opposite spins and the maximum value of energy that is known as fermi energy is here that is denoted as suppose we denote it as ef now we have to understand the how these electrons are distributed within this energy levels so we need to consider the concept of density of states what is the meaning of density of states so density of states at an energy e is the number of states per unit volume available per unit energy interval with energy range between e and e plus de so we requires the counting of number of states so the equation that we have calculated for energy equation that is ef equals to n square h cross square k square by twice m so we have to count for this uh, energy ef so and this is suppose it will form a sphere in nx in y in z space with a radius of root over twice m el by pi h cross so 
as the points in the space are separated from the adjacent one by one unit in each direction so each point effectively occupy a volume 2 pi whole cube by v in k space so the unit volume in k space contains v by twice pi cube or whole cube number of states so k states can accommodate one k states can accommodate two electrons corresponding to two distinct spin states so the number of electrons per unit volume of k space is v by 4 into pi cube so here this is a, a constant energy surface in the space is a sphere so we can define this as a fermi wave uh, uh, energy sphere or we can define the fermi wave vector as the radius of the sphere corresponding to this fermi energy so ef equals to h cross square kf square by twice m now the volume of this fermi sphere can be taken as 4 pi kf cube by 3 that the number of electrons n then it will be n equals to 4 third pi kf cube into v by 4 pi cube so it will give the density n that is n by v that is kf cube by 3 pi square so suppose this is equation c so we can obtain the density of states that is any by any d uh, king that any d equals to 1 by 3 pi square and 2 m by h cross square whole to the power 3 by 2 into e plus d e whole to the power 3 by 2 minus e whole to the power 3 by 2 because we are considering the number of states between energy e to e plus d e so we have to subtract the number of states below the energy e and the number of states below e plus d e so after calculating this value we get density of states any d e equals to 1 by 2 pi square 2m by h cross square whole to the power 3 by 2 e to the power 1 by 2 de that is density of states lying between the energy level e to e plus de so what will be the unit of density of states here that is ev whole to the power minus 1 meter to the power minus 1 minus 3 so density of states if you plot this density of states with respect to the fermi energy what will uh, here this is n of e is directly proportional to e to the power 1 by 2. So it will be like this way, uh, uh, this kind of nature. And uh, that is n of e is root over proportional to root of e. And this, suppose we take this as level, as Fermi level. So below this, at room temperature, uh, at normal uh, T, temperature equals to T, it will be fully filled state. And above this, it will be fully empty states. Okay. So, how the free electron theory is uh, necessary for understanding of the basics of metals because this free electron theory can be used to explain and reasonably satisfactory several qualitative properties of metals such as the thermal and electric conductivity, magnetic properties, heat capacity, etc. But the problem is that the total theory ignores the crystalline structure of the metals. It fails to provide a distinction between the metals and semiconductors and insulator. It cannot give you the distinction. That is, it cannot give you the allow, allowed bands. It cannot give you any band gap. So it cannot provide any distinction between metals, semiconductors, insulators. The atoms in a crystal are arranged in a periodic arrangement. So the electrons in a crystal are subjected to a periodic potential. They do not form a uniform potential that is assumed here in the free electron model. We have assumed that the potential is zero within this V, within this L and outside it is infinite. But that is not true. The electron should also subject to a periodic potential. And if this potential is assumed to be weak, the electrons do not become completely filled uh, free but nearly so so that's why this we have taken the model that is potential is almost electron is almost free within this uh, metal and this is known as free electron model so what we have learned in this lecture the behavior of simple metals can be described by a free electron theory in which an electron is taken to move in a constant potential. At zero temperature, the electron states are occupied from the lowest energy state to a maximum energy that is known as Fermi energy. 
density of state is the number of states per unit volume of a substance per unit energy interval and for free electrons the density of state is proportional to the square root of energy so thanks friend for watching this video don't forget to like this video share with your friends and subscribe to our channel do subscribe our channel if you are interested to learn physics to qualify the interviews you can also join our interview guidance program which you can also join our test series program where the full length test subjective test are available with a minimum cost so friends for more updates please share this video and subscribe to our channel we will upload more videos regularly thank you